position that was there was no more space for. but it's actually only the highlights of the past 25 years of Banksy's creations. If we were to put everything up there that Banksy ever did, then we could probably plaster a whole tally with this list. So that's why we only took the most, yeah, let's say important and meaningful stunts that he has done and put them together on this timeline. In this room, I mostly get the question, okay, but who is Banksy? How much information can we give about him? And to that, I mostly like to say Banksy is anonymous for a reason. He needs his anonymity to work the way he does because it's not just a marketing stunt, but he is actually searched for for all the vandalism that he had, has done. And also, he has a very beautiful quote which gives more the importance to his anonymity, which is to really say the truth and have people listen to you you have to wear a mask. And we do not want to rip this mask away right here. We want to much rather support him in everything he does. And with that, also in his decision to stay anonymous. And if you're still wondering, okay, at least give us a hint on what he might look like, right there is a self-portrait, so you get a rough imagination maybe. There's a big significant 
difference between Banksy and most other street artists, which is that he is using stencils. Meaning he prepares everything in his studio at home, cuts it in a piece of carton or something like that, just throws it underneath his arm and jumps up a wall. And this way he can not only make a gigantic, very detailed picture in a matter of seconds, but he can also reuse it. And Banksy himself says that this was why he is so famous today, because it gave him the opportunity to completely bombard cities without ever being caught, because he's just that quick. And so he really loves his stencils, he gives a lot of credit to this idea, and that's why he's now well, he was now exhibiting them in Glasgow. It was incredible, you really could see you had to put your phone away, of course, and everything. But he right away said, hey guys, for me it's not about being the best, biggest artist and having the super can control. For me it is all about what you see on this wall at the end of the day. What is the message that I leave behind? And he has a beautiful quote that goes, real art is if the person who is looking at the picture takes longer to look at it than the artist did to create it. And he is definitely the master of that. Lives only in Western Supermaya, which is kind of the holiday part of the UK. It was only open for five weeks, and in those five weeks, the park welcomes. I want to show you in the exhibition. So, I talked about it before. How does it fit together? Banksy, who is all about anarchy and fuck capitalism, but is very much part of capitalism himself. Also, this exhibition that showcases street art gives it back to the people, but of course, we also sadly have to take entry in order to yeah, work the way we do. And so the question is always, how does that match? How can we defend this? And Banksy himself shows it in the best way. This picture is yeah, a prime example. The Game Changer is a very unusual Banksy picture. We have charcoal on linen, and we see the little boy who already threw Batman and Spider-Man out. Nobody cares about them anymore. He plays with the real heroes of today, the people who work in the healthcare system. All of this was painted in 2020 during the absolute heaps of COVID, while the hospital the hospitals in, in the lockdown were completely flooded with sick people, with people having COVID and really had a hard time there. So Banksy gave this painting, he donated it, to a hospital in Southampton. This hospital then hung up this picture, exhibited it in the hospital, kind of as a motivation and an honour to the people working there. And then they, are, they kind of agreed with Banksy to sell the picture for 16.75 million British pounds without taxes. This picture was put up in the hospital, then it was sold for 16.75 million British pounds, which including taxes, we're talking about uh, 25 million euros. And this is the Banksy magic. This is why I like to call him the modern Robin Hood, because what does he do right here? He creates 25 million pounds, uh, euros, sorry, out of thin air from just charcoal and linen. And he takes it from one person, from one rich guy who wanted to have this in his home and gives it to where it is desperately needed, into the medical system of the UK. Imagine how many lives were able to be saved just because of this picture of Banksy's. And this is how he shows us Money itself is not the problem. The question is, what do we do with it? And this whole motto is exactly how we handle this exhibition. And of course, again, the elephant in the room. Our answer to this question is Louis Michel. Louis Michel is Banksy's own boat. He likes to say he did something that a lot of rich and famous people do. He bought a boat, but he did something that not enough rich and famous people do. He painted this boat pink he named it Louis Michel after the French anarchist and ever since then 
this boat, since 2018 to be exact, this boat is in the Mediterranean Sea and saving people on the daily. He got very much criticized just yesterday for another yeah, uh, for another yeah, installation that he had done during a concert with a refugee boat and people said it's so untasteful and then he said well my refugee boat the night before I did that concert installation has saved 17 children just children 17 children without their parents from the open ocean and they were not allowed passage onto safe land in Italy and he found that very distasteful that was his way to defend his installation the night before.